I attempted to beat the Titanfall 2 campaign without war running, and every time I failed, I would be forced to play League of Legends. Ah. Uh, so can you beat Titanfall 2 without war running? If not, then how many fails would it take? The rules are pretty simple. Don't war run and don't nade boost. To start us off, I got stuck on one of the first jumps for nearly a whole hour. Oh, what the f mate? I then had to play League and made an infuriating discovery. Titanfall 2 has invisible walls nearly everywhere, which eliminates a lot of options for success. Invisible wall! Trying again. Fuck! And again. Fuck! And again. No! And just when all hope was lost, this happened. Yes! No way! All right, we're good. I don't have to play any more league. That indeed was a pretty cool jump. I was now on a roll, blitzing through every obstacle and wall in the way. And after one more pass, arguably caused by Titan Hall's abundance of dumbass invisible walls. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. I was able to give BT his first dose of sweet, sweet battery juice. I then proceeded to nearly get stuck when it turned out instead of trying to be smart about it, all I needed to do was jump a little faster. Yes! Fuck yes, mate. Fucking fuck yeah, fucking oath. Then I actually got stuck. Oh. Despite my best efforts to dodge yet another league session, the time had unfortunately arrived. Here we go again, hey. This next part was once again very tricky, but at this point, I was just absolutely determined not to play league again. So I then put on my thinking cap and proceeded to think. How could this be done? Option A, lose all self-respect. Option B, hack. And option C, tippy toe across this little ledge over here. But wait, there is one final option. Anyway, um, the ledge worked perfectly well. Let's go! The rest of the level was pretty tame. I killed some things, on the ship, killed some more things, and the rest, was history. Blood and rust. This was probably the bloodiest and rustiest level in the entire game. I made some strawberry milkshake, pressed a button, walked over some strawberry milkshake. Oh, too easy. King hit a Marvin. Hey Marvin. Did a little bit of speed running. And then I was unfortunately here. I had to somehow get up onto this pipe here with absolutely shit all around to help. I tried this. This and this, all with complete failure. I even considered cheating there for a second. Are you fucking serious? But then I made a discovery. You could actually walk on top of these drainage thingos. How is this relevant, you may ask? Well, it meant that if I was good enough, I could jump and swivel around onto this pipe here and then up to here. It took me a good few tries to even get close, but then, hold up. Oh! <gasps> No way. Easy. Piece of fucking cake. Yeah, no, that actually wasn't easy at all. The second half of Blood and Rust was basically just me mowing through grunts with the Eve Auto. So, I'm gonna show a time lapse. The time lapse has been shown. Into the Abyss. For this level, we will be going into the abyss. I started off by watching BT get absolutely snatched. Pilot, I cannot free myself. Then we got straight into business. This first jump was basically a warm up as to what was next. I scattered out the area, found some rocks, then did some rock climbing. Here it is, eh? The dickhead wall. There was no direct path to cross this, which was fine since I'd as expected. However, all of the alternate routes either didn't exist or were blocked by invisible walls for no good reason. I truly gave it a red hot attempt, but unfortunately caved in. Oh. We were now well and truly into the abyss, with the goal of navigating dangerous machinery without the use of wall running. I did this jump. Please. Let's go. All was good. I did this jump. Smashed it. And all was good. I even did this jump. And all was still good. I then ran up this blue thing because I couldn't get up here the regular way, and then stumbled upon a jump that wasn't also good. There really didn't look to be much option here, but I did have a few tricks up my sleeve. The first thing I tried was searching for a path on this barrier just below. That is a fat ass drop. I then spotted this other blue thing, hopped on it, and discovered there was nowhere I could go from here. I then tried hopping onto this road because it looked like there was maybe a way around the back. 
But yeah, that didn't work. I then made a statement. I'd rather fucking pull my cock off than play league and came up with the best idea ever. What if I simply jump and slide onto this downward facing part of the car to give me a bit extra velocity? Oh, dude. Is that really all it took? You're telling me I just spent like fucking half an hour sitting there trying to make that jump when all I had to do was literally just jump it. I was now out of the abyss and nearly finished the level. I did this PvE battle, jumped across some containment units, did the very final jump, and that was it. Effect and cause. We started off this level by committing two acts of grave robbing. The first to steal a helmet, and the second to steal a watch. Next up on the agenda, Get past this huge fuck off wall. The first idea I had was to try catch a ride on one of these drone things. It didn't work. I then tried simply going over it because the obvious route usually works. Yeah, respawn already thought of this one. I then decided to go around the back in search of an alternate route. If this didn't work, I was basically flat out of ideas. These didn't look overly promising and the first thing I tried completely failed. But then... Please. What the fuck? This one also failed. It was very clear to me now there was only one way out of this situation. As a reward for trying my absolute hardest on that last part, I was presented another impossible path to cross. What the fuck, bro? The end was now near. I fell down this swirly thing, got stuck in temporal spaces. Then grabbed the arc. Strap yourselves in, because this one's fucked. The beacon consisted of three parts. Acquiring the arc tool, stealing a working uplink module, and swapping out the old module with the newly retrieved one. Part one was extremely boring, so I'll summarize it by just saying I had to play League twice. Part two started off with BT having to throw me onto this wall, but since I wasn't allowed to war run, I decided to do this instead. One. Oh. Oh, I'm insane. Next up, navigating the cranes. This first crane was solved by simply jumping onto this pole and then across. I then performed some bock and call torture, set up some more cranes, and did some more parkour. But I call this the, um, the parkour jump. Oh, no way. Let's go. We were then faced with this big old gap here. I analyzed my surroundings, found this cage looking thingo, and then simply jumped across. Wow. This was so far all going to plan. The only thing now between me and this fresh uplink module was a couple enemies and simply having to move this dish. Move the dish to the far. The module was now mine, but far out with things about to get tricky. I did this last jump across and now we had arrived at the bridge. What a fucking n Oh, this is gonna be a bitch. The first course of action was to figure out a way on top. There was nothing directly here to assist me in the climb, so I decided to backtrack. I realized that this dish could be climbable, so I climbed it. No way. Let's go, that counts, that counts. We were now on top of the bridge, but I then made a crazy discovery. Fuck. If I made contact with the roof for more than a few milliseconds, I was toast. So I had to improvise. The first thing I did was a couple fat jumps, which was easy enough. I then did a few more hops and then a really cool slide. Um, Bro, sign me up for fucking phase. I then climbed up this support beam with moderate difficulty and died. Here. Oh. What? The white part doesn't kill you usually. Next up putting all those hours of playing CSGO maps into use. With a few more deaths and a few more hops, I was finally nearing the end of the bridge. Oh, now here came the final jump. This was looking pretty fucked. Left with not much option, I decided to do what was possibly the coolest thing I'd ever done in Titanfall 2. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, oh, that was fucking borderline sexual. Oh, and I'm beating the grunts. Hey, idiot. Another level once again nearly finished. I did the final battle, installed the new uplink module, and of course, was saved by BT.
The arc was quite interesting. The level commenced by BT acting a little bit out of foot. Then there was no war running for quite a while until there was. The objective, get to the other side of the ship. At first, I was completely lost on what to do here. However, I then thought of some thoughts, which led me to two different routes, the easy way and the hard way. I gave the easy way a shot and this happened. Please. Turns out, these antennas are just a texture, so I was forced to take the hard route. Close the door and keep her steady. He's not thinking. Quick! Oh, no, yes! So far, so good. But as it turned out, I thought I was a lot smarter than I actually was. Fuck! Take two. This time with a plan. I was going to attempt to climb the plane and jump off the roof instead. It worked. I'll also... He's not thinking. Can I climb it? Fuck yeah, I can. Let's go! Fuck yeah! I then brought back the good old strawberry milkshake gun, watched BT go absolutely gorilla mode on the glass. And it was now time for the very final mission. The fold weapon. After this little cutscene, we were now on the move. Smart pistol in hand, I was ready to tackle any wall thrown at me. I take that back. Whilst trying to figure out a way past this wall, I made an unfortunate discovery. This for some reason didn't click with me until now, but wall hanging and wall running are two completely separate things. I'd previously wall hang to help me climb things, but you can actually just wall hang, jump, and wall hang again to replace wall running. No! I've just played so much league and it was for nothing. Oh man, I'm angry now. This is just giving me a fucking biggest fucking dopamine hit ever. So I can now finish this last level. With absolute certainty and ease. Quite infuriated at the time, I channeled all that anger into absolutely decimating the first half of the level. I then did one last Titan trek, defeated the final boss, and now we were back on foot. New objective, get to the evac ship. I climbed over this wall, did this sick jump, and go boom. We were now truly on the home stretch. Step one was to get over there, which was easy enough. Step two was to somehow make this jump. This was difficult because there was nowhere to stand on, or so I thought, and jumping off of a wall hang didn't give enough velocity to jump very far. I also had to make the jump in a specific time window, otherwise the walls would move. Fuck! This was proving to be near impossible, so I decided to test my luck and try a different route. Come on. Please. Yes. Quick. No way. My brain is fucking huge. Wait, what just happened? Am I stuck in the ground? EA then decided to lock me up inside of a fucking boulder. As retaliation, I decided to retry and make the jump. Jump for it. All right. So, the final verdict. Is it possible? With nade boosting and wall hanging, probably yes. Without those two things, absolutely no chance. Anyway boys, subscribe at 10 extra inches and I'll see you later. Bye.